Hi friends. So, in this video, I am going to explain in detail how to string the violin, how to keep the tailpiece, where to place it, how to place the bridge, all that we are going to see in detail. Why am I doing this? Because on quite a few occasions recently, I have seen that um, students, when they buy the violin, it comes like this. There's a body, you have a fingerboard, you have the tuning pegs, the tailpiece comes separately and the bridge comes separately. So you need to fix everything. Sometimes people buy violin online as well. So even there, violin comes like this. So we need to figure out how to string the violin which string into which tuning peg and how do you string it to the tail piece all that I am going to explain to you in detail so this is the violin the back of the violin the front of the violin the fingerboard the S hole all that is here so what do you do in the beginning you see a button here this button is fixed on the violin and you use the tail piece it, it comes with this beautiful thread here quite thick and uh, you fix it on the button like this and your tail piece is fixed so this is how it will be unstrung this is fine it should be like this and then what you do the string 31 is ideally suited for pass string so this is how you take out the string and you need to pick the string and then this string you put it on the first tuning peg okay and then you string the string onto the tuning peg see there is a hole in the tuning peg so you put the string into the tuning peg all the way in and then you start tightening the tuning peg The other end of the string, we fix it on this fine tuning peg, the extension of the fine tuning peg, there is a lever here, you fix it here and then you tighten this string. So now this will hold the tail piece also, it settles down. As you see, this will hold the tail piece and slowly it will settle down. So now we have strung the string pa to the first tuning peg here and then all the way to the fine tuning peg here. Okay. So now the tail piece is it's not lifting up like this anymore. It is settling down. So now next string sa. We tune the violin to pa sa pa sa. So second string is sa string at the middle octave sa string. For, for which we use the string with the number 28. This gauge is 28. Okay. So what we do with this string? We string it to the, the tuning peg on top. To the right hand side. Normally this is pa, this is sa. Pa, sa. Sa, pa, pa, sa. Okay. That is how it is. When you fix this string onto the tuning peg, fine tuning peg, make sure that uh, this portion of the string is not like this, but like this. So when it goes in, it, it's locked here. 
So what happens if you do it the other way? There will be an unnecessary curve on the string, and so when you play, you will find it a bit uncomfortable to play. So we have strung the second string also, sa and pa. Now what you can do is take the bridge and see the bridge. There will be a curve, okay? Then it will be curved like this. And you have pa, sa, pa, sa. Meaning you try and divide the space into equal intervals and place the string in that position. Also, the the pa and sa towards the higher octave should have a longer curve. So almost all the bridge will be like this only. So you you put the the longer curve towards the pa on the higher octave and slowly you try and tighten the string here so that tighten it so that it will hold the bridge once you tighten the string what will happen it will hold the bridge in position the bridge will not fall also, what you have to look for is when you place the bridge. See, under under inside the violin, you will see a stick which we call as the sound post. So, what you do, you place the bridge in such a way that the right leg of the bridge is just above the sound post. Normally. You will see this small marking of S4. Small marking will be given as an indication. So you can place the bridge parallel to that marking. That should normally be the right position for the bridge on the body. Okay. And if you look at it, the right leg will be just above the sound post. This is normally how you place the bridge. Now, since you have tightened it to, a, to, a, to an extent, that tension will hold the bridge comfortably on the violin. Now what we do, we take the next string. Lower octave. So the pass string, when we the lower octave pass string should make sure it is the opposite of this side. We fix the pass string onto the lower key tuning key and start to the upper tuning key. On the left hand side, we do just the opposite. Pa will be on the upper left hand side upper tuning key. And sa will be the lower tuning peg. So now I know we have fixed pa, sa, pa. Now we go to the last string. It is 19. Cage 19. See, sometimes what will happen is the hole, you see the hole, you see this hole, it will be underneath these three, three strings or any of those strings. So what you can do is unscrew the peg and bring it to a level from where it is easily, it is easy to put the string inside and then, and then what you do? put the string inside that hole and then you start tightening now all the strings are strung 